All right, welcome back everyone. My name is Pratesh here with Kaizen Crypto, bringing you another video. So I hope you guys are all doing well. Thank you all so much for joining me here today. In this video, we're taking a look at the Cardano Developer Portal. So this is intended to be a resource for developers who are interested in building on Cardano. Also, the Cardano Foundation welcomes Swiss-Canadian Josiane Sado to its operations team. She's going to be working very closely with Cardano ambassadors and taking a look a little bit more at her current role. Also, we've submitted a proposal for Project Catalyst. So thank you so much to everyone who has engaged with our proposal. I really do appreciate all the feedback, giving you guys some details on what you can anticipate with this proposal. And if you all stay till the very end, taking a look at the overall market, we can see that there is quite a bit of interesting things happening. Cardano ADA, pretty much green for the entire week, as opposed to a lot of these other top cryptocurrencies, still trying to make up ground from some losses over the past week. So if you all are interested in that type of content, be sure to stay tuned. All right, everyone, thank you all so much for joining me here today. To get things started, a first look at the Cardano Developer Portal. So this is intended to be an all-encompassing resource where developers can access documentation, share ideas, collaborate, promote their projects, and engage in discussions related to building on Cardano. Very cool to see this. I know that there are quite a bit of resources available to get started with basic understanding of Plutus and Marlow, but it's nice that we will now have an all-encompassing resource that'll have all of that content available in one place. Now, the developer portal is going to make it easier than ever before to find and navigate essential Cardano documentation. So whether you're starting from scratch or if you're a pretty seasoned developer already, this is going to be a way for you to gain access to a community that's going to be able to help you see your idea through. Now, the documentation available on the developer portal is going to be an enhanced version of the documentation already available today, except it's going to have a much greater focus on Plutus and Marlowe. So if you're interested in learning how to write a smart contract or how to build a dApp, this is going to be very valuable. I know I was watching some videos from Professor Simon Thompson. So he did an incredible thing on YouTube where he just put a series of videos out talking more about Marlowe and functional programming. So I thought that was great and I really learned a lot from watching those videos, but this developer portal is gonna be something unique because you don't have to necessarily browse a multitude of different platforms. Everything is gonna be made available to developers in a one-stop shop. So the developer portal is gonna include developer-focused articles, video content, infographics, reporting and measuring tools, tutorials, downloadable guides, and data visualizations. So it's incredible to see this. I think that it's gonna be good for being able to get more people interested and more people involved. Now these tools will be crucial for attracting enterprises and financial institutions to build on Cardano, and they will also serve as an invaluable resource for developers looking to learn a new programming language. Language. Absolutely, yes. So this is a very valuable tool. As far as the sign up, if you're interested in building on Cardano, you are able to register for the upcoming developer portal. So this is still in the works, but it is going to be available very soon. So I would recommend if you are interested in learning more about programming or if Haskell, Plutus, Marlowe, if you're interested in building a decentralized application, be sure to sign up for the developer portal. I will leave a link for you guys down in the description below. Next up, the Cardano Foundation welcomes Swiss-Canadian Josiane Sado to its operations team. So Josiane Sado is one of the newest members brought into the Cardano Foundation back in August of 2020. She was brought in as management support and events coordinator in the operations team. So in this role, she will be supporting the Foundation Council and the legal and finance teams with administrative tasks. She's also going to be working very closely with Cardano ambassadors by welcoming new members, and hosting meetups, conferences, and hackathons to help engage the Cardano community. So really incredible. She's got quite the background. I think she's going to do an incredible job in this role. So a big welcome to Jo Cien. It's very incredible to have her as part of the Cardano community. I wanted to provide some information related to our latest proposal for Project Catalyst, so the Kaizen Crypto Cardano podcast. With this proposal, what I intend on doing is helping to further grow the channel by being a resource for developers and community members who are interested in sharing their ideas and who would require a platform to be able to bring that to the community. 
So with this proposal, I did receive quite a bit of feedback. So for everybody who did comment and engage, I really do appreciate it. All the feedback is incredibly valuable and I do respect everybody's opinions. Now, what we're gonna be doing moving forward, I do have quite a few revisions to go through just based on some of the feedback that we've received, making sure that it's in line with the needs of the community so that we can bring the highest quality product to market. So essentially, I'm gonna be doing some revisions with this. If you're interested in looking at our proposal, I will be sure to leave a link for you down in the description. That way you can check it out. If you do find that this is something that is interesting to you, please be sure to leave some kudos. This is how you're able to support our idea and help it gain more awareness. And last up, for those of you who have stuck around till the very end, thank you all so much for watching. If you guys did find some value from this video, please be sure to drop a like for me. It definitely lets me know that you all enjoyed it. A lot of these top cryptocurrencies are still down quite significantly from their correction we've had over the past few days. One thing I did want to note here is that Cardano ADA is chugging along. We're seeing a nice green day here where the price is pretty much going flat for the entire week. So Cardano ADA making up for some of those losses. I wanted to go ahead and share some perspective from Cardano Dan. So big shout out to Cardano Dan. He does amazing technical analysis on his Twitter. Be sure to follow him at Cardano Dan. What we've got here, he's got the Fibonacci sequence as well as the RSI and some moving averages. So what we're looking at, Cardano is now above the 200-day moving average. So if we do have a daily close above the 200-day moving average, it looks like the next line of resistance we could potentially anticipate is up at that 50 moving average at around about 10 cents. So really nice to see Cardano ADA making up for some of those losses that we've been experiencing over the past few days. Let me know what you guys think. Are you guys excited about what's happening from a fundamental standpoint? Are you guys accumulating ADA on these dips? Let me know down in the comments comment section. I would love to hear from you guys. All right, everyone, that is what I have for you all here today. Thank you all so much for watching. Again, if you haven't done so, please be sure to drop a like. And if you want to stay up to date with Cardano content, be sure to hit that subscribe button. All right, everyone, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care.